behind me. I served as both Senate Democratic Caucus Chair and the Senate Majority Leader. But today I say goodbye. Adios. I've had enough. I am now another near lifelong Democrat who is joining the growing number of people, including key groups like Latinos, who are leaving the Democratic Party. This is not the Democratic Party that I once championed. I do not recognize it anymore, and I cannot continue. I changed my voting registration today as the sun was rising to Republican, which has, under Donald Trump, become the champion of working people, the big tent. And indeed, I will vote for Donald Trump this fall. <laughs> well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. The poor favor. <laughs> Come on. Let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, Party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, Ken, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Man, oh, man, so the media is hilarious to me. You know, when a family member of Donald Trump go rogue, like Mary Trump, they want to, you know, highlight her story. They want to give her some airplay. They want to talk about how bad Mr. Trump is. And so they let her talk. Donald Trump, you know, you write in the book that he was a complete failure, that essentially until he got to Atlantic City, the fa your, your grandfather could prop him up and make him look like a successful businessman. But your grandfather's empire was all built up. Donald Trump squandered it. But once he got to Atlantic City and was on his own, he started to fail. More than that, though, I, I think one of Donald's biggest problems is that for the very first time in his life, he is receiving scrutiny, although not enough. And he's he's getting pushback, although not enough. And it's putting him under such enormous amounts of stress that we see him lashing out in ways he may not have otherwise if he had just stayed out of the Oval Office. Now, we also have her brother, Fred Trump. He also gets on the bandwagon, writes a book about his uncle how racist he is, and how heartless he is. It says the Trumps and how we got this way. What way? What's the Trump way? Complex and sometimes cruel. And within every family, people know this, families are complicated. Every family has their crazy uncle. My uncle Donald is atomic crazy. And uh, he has put his mark on the family history. Atomic crazy? Yes. What does that mean? means uh, he does things that even as much as I know him when he's out there now, I, I sort of shudder and say, is this the same guy I knew? What's, what's making him change? What, what got him this way? A couple of years ago, I said, I called him. I said, Donald, the fun's running out. And without hesitation, he said, your son doesn't recognize you. Let him die and move to Florida. Were you surprised? <laughs> That's a great question. I, my response was, no, Donald, he does recognize me. There's a chapter that you write about called the, the race card. What's that about? I was about 10 years old, and I was at my grandparents' house. Like, I, I was a lot. And Donald, I could hear him screaming. And... I went down to the driveway of my grandparents' house and there was his white Eldorado convertible with two slashes, still remember it. And he had electrical tape because the roof was black. And he used the word, the N-word twice, just saying who he thought probably had done this. You were 10 years old when these 
comments were allegedly mm -hmm. uttered. Right. It, you sure you remember him that way? Oh, absolutely. He says he doesn't use the word. Okay, he did twice that day. You do write in the book about how people have labeled former President Trump a racist, and some people feel he is, some people say he's not, and you, you ask the question, is, is he a racist? You don't necessarily answer it. Right. Is he a racist? He at times espouses things that people who I believe are racist espouses. That's the best I can answer that question. Now, mind you, these are the two of Fred, Donald Trump's brother, who died of alcoholism. And these two are also on the sauce. But anyway, they love to talk about Donald Trump's family. No problem. They got two, his nephew and niece. They want to make a story about that? Fine. But here comes Mr. Walls, Tim Walls, Jazz Hands Walls, his brother. He comes out against Timmy. Rich McHugh spoke exclusively with Jeff Walls, and he joins me now. Rich, what did he have to say? Hi, Elizabeth. So I spoke with Jeff Walls for about... 15 minutes this morning by phone. He said, look, he wants to make clarify some things. He never intended what he wrote to be viewed by a national audience. It was on Facebook and probably the wrong forum. That said, he did not uh, shy away from his, his words. He said he, everything he wrote is true. Take a listen. It wasn't my intent. It wasn't our intent as a family to put something out there to influence the the general public. In an exclusive interview with News Nation, Jeff Walls, brother of Democratic VP candidate Tim Walls, says he wants to set the record straight after criticizing his brother Tim on Facebook, saying he's not the type of character who should make decisions about our future and that he's, quote, 100% opposed to all his ideology. Former President Donald Trump quickly pounced, praising Jeff on Truth Social, writing, Sounds like a really great guy. Despite saying to his Facebook friends that he had thought long and hard about endorsing Trump on stage, now he tells News Nation he wants no part of the election. And we're not campaigning or anything for him or against him or, or, or anything like that. Not only that, <laughs> Tim Walls is from Nebraska, and Tim Walls' whole family, sister, brother, mother, the whole family, are voting for Trump. Now that got to be the most funniest ever. Do you see Joy Reid out here asking for an interview? No. This got to be the most funniest thing out here. Donald Trump has gone as far as says that he wants them on the campaign trail with him. Now, if that's not a king troll, I don't know what to say. He's going to have Tim Wall's family with these shirts Walls for Trump out here on the campaign trail. Please let this happen. I can't I can't wait to see this happen. This is gonna be the meme of the year. Golly. And I can't wait to see Rachel Maddow, Joe Reed gonna have an interview about the Walls family. Is that gonna are they gonna let that happen? No. Anyway, that's my thoughts for the day. If you guys got any value of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like, hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you knuckleheads, get your ass off my lawn. <laughs>